I ordered a container, 20 foot Connex container from Container One. And I shopped around a lot for containers. Uh, all over, you know, Craigslist, Marketplace, anywhere I could. And uh, just trying to find the best deal or find one with the right color that I wanted. And ultimately I couldn't find one with the color I wanted for a right price. I had one guy lined up and he must have been just a fraud because he ended up ghosting me and we had it lined up for delivery the one i wanted and the guy just goes to me so i ended up finding a, a fairly good deal for around like 24.50 for a 20 footer uh, all of the brand new ones are one uh one ship containers one trip containers those were like up around 3500 didn't really want to spend that much so we got this one from container one and um everything was good they called to confirm and set up delivery and they told me it was going to be a 40 footer uh, trailer delivering a 20 footer and i'm like hey that's not going to fit on our driveway and they're like well that's all we have so i went back to the drawing board started shopping around found another guy he's like yeah i deliver them all on 20 footers and i can beat their price by like 300 dollars or 200 dollars or something like that and uh, and he was willing to deliver one up to our cabin so i was like cool so i called container one back like, hey guys, um, since your 40 footer wouldn't fit on my driveway, let's just go ahead and cancel this because I thought you guys were gonna deliver it on a 20 footer and you're just not gonna be able to make that work. So they said, well, let, it, let me see what we can do. And I'm like, well, I already uh, found someone else since you guys said you couldn't do, you said you could only do a 40 footer. So I went shopping and found someone else and they're like, well, let me see what I can do. So they came back and they're like, well, yeah, now we can go ahead and do a 20 footer. I'm like, well, why couldn't you do a 20 footer to begin with? Now all of a sudden when I want to cancel, you can. So that was a little weird and frustrating. So I just was trying to cancel it. And they're like, all right, we'll cancel it. And I had to talk to accounting. So I go to cancel it and he's like, okay, it's going to be a $350 restocking fee. And I'm like, wait, I'm canceling because you guys can deliver. Well, now we can. So that got frustrating. I'm like, okay, well, then I guess I'll just dispute it. And he's like, well, we'll just take you to court. We went back and forth. I said, you know what? Fine, forget about it. Uh, let's just go ahead and continue with the order. And so got off the phone. I get an email from him. Hey, um, the email says that my order has been canceled and they refunded me everything but $350. I'm like, no, I want to proceed with the order. So I had to reorder it and they discounted the new one, the, the next order by $350. So what had happened is the guy refunded me my order minus the 350 while we were on the phone, didn't wait to finish the conversation with me before he processed the transaction. So I had to go through all that mess again. It was just a pain in the ass. So anyways, not not super happy with, uh, with them right now, but we're getting ready to get the container. Uh, the guy called me, he's about an hour away and uh, well, that was about an hour ago. So we're waiting for him to show up here and see how this goes for delivery. Hopefully he can put it in the spot that I need it so I can paint it and then uh, just push it into position. All right, got the trailer here. Our delivery guy is super cool. He's getting it in the best position. And uh, yeah, it's definitely a used container. Got some rust on it, banged up a little bit, but we'll paint it up and get it nice. All right, so we got the container. It's all in position. Uh, the driver was super cool. Put it right where I wanted it. Uh, so let's check it out. This is a used container. So like I said, the one trip ones are a lot much, a lot more. Uh, I'm gonna hit it with the DA, sand it down in some of the rough, uh, rough spots. Uh, do a coating on the roof. 
of the roof sealer that I've done on the one at the cabin and paint it up, but uh, we'll check it out right now. Inside's not too bad. It uh, definitely looks like it might, it could leak right up there. Got a little rust uh, indention, so definitely gonna have to fill that, make sure that's sealed up real good on top. And uh, yeah, we'll put some sealer on the top, put some paint on this thing, and, and uh, be a good little storage container. So the only bummer part that I just noticed was uh, looks like his truck leaked maybe a little hydraulic fluid when he was unloading. So we got a little hydraulic fluid on the concrete, but uh, that's about it. Well, overall, the Connex container, of course I wish it was in better condition. I mean, ultimately, I mean, it is a used one. Um, you know, but it is what it is. Bought a used one and I'm gonna do a little extra prep on it. We're gonna do a roof sealer on it, just a metal roof sealer, and just to give it a little added extra protection and a few other things. So uh, the whole process with uh, container one, I'm not happy with the, the representative that booked it for me. Um, I think her name was Sarah. She was great. She was really helpful, um, responsive. The gentleman that I spoke to in accounting about canceling, uh, not happy with him. He, he can work on his customer service a little bit, but uh, um, condition of the container, probably not gonna get one from them again. Um, found someone else that has better quality containers actually for a little bit less. Uh, so the next one we get, I'll probably be getting it from them. So uh, unfortunately container one, uh, we won't be buying one from you guys again, sorry. Check out the video of us painting this. We're gonna pressure wash it, strip some of the decals off of it, sand some of the rust off, and get it all prepped to paint. 